what would she bring to the table? Whenever somebody says the entire table, they can't bring anything to the table because you already got the question wrong. So we know your intellect isn't something that you're bringing to the table. What do you bring to the table? You can't bring the table to the table. Huh? I grew up in the 90s as a young teenager in Sacramento, California. I lived in a neighborhood it's called nuts. Del Paso Heights, which was predominantly black and all of my surroundings were black. I yep. went to Mount Olive Baptist Church, which was black. I went to Grant High School, which was black. Um, I went to Jimmy's on Grand Avenue, which was black. And everything that I saw was black. Even my barber, Heights Hair Fashion, Mark York, black. was black. And it wasn't until I got into college that I had to leave Del Paso Heights to see something a little bit different. And that's how it typically is for most of us in black America. Yeah. 2024 is very different. You see, the internet was just getting started when I was coming up. But now you can pretty much look at the culture that you want to see. World Star Hip Hop put a number on the black community because we can now see all the ratchet things going in on black America. So somebody who's not from the hood can study the internet and literally become black. And oh, by the way, this is exactly what oh, happened I with it. a young I knew lady. He was, I knew it was Whoa Vicky, bro. By the name of Whoa Vicky. Well, Vicky grew up with two white parents from Cobb County, Georgia, in Atlanta, she but she swears she's from the block, and she went viral by talking like this. I took the test, and they said I'm black. That means I have the right to tell y'all that I'm black. You know what's crazy? She don't even talk like this no more. She she went through her I got saved thing, and, and she don't even talk like that no more. Because they took, cause I took the test, what did Kendra and they both came back, and they no, said actually, I have a percentage of black in me. I'm not fully black. I never said I was fully black. I'm black, which means I have black in me. And and just because I don't look, I don't look black, that don't mean that I'm not black. You feel me? Because if you sitting there judging me by the way I look, that slick make you racist. Fucking <laughs> no way, bro. <laughs> In there's so much more information about her on the and internet. And now she did that, that God song. Out. But Which, by the way, who wasn't all that Vicky bad. As a person, is not really what's important. What's really important. This song is right here was crazy. <laughs> who will Vicky is advertising herself to black men? Really? So, oh yeah, let's get back to the current times. Back in my time, interracial dating relationships was not very common, but they are now and white women are expressing their love for black men. So I just saw something on TikTok about the oh black God. boyfriend effect, and I need to know what that is, because I think I have it. The way that I have changed since this man has entered my life, I'll never be the same. And it is not for the reasons you're thinking, you nasty. Even though that's not a conversation for TikTok. I'm just saying, like, I have become, like, the boldest, most confident version of me. I dress different. I talk different. We know. We know. I believe in myself in a different way. We I'm talk like different. We know. We dress different. Energy. We know. And I did not know that that was a theme of having a black boyfriend <laughs> until I stumbled on all of these videos on TikTok talking about the black boyfriend effect. And I need to know, like, what is this psychological phenomenon? And what is it about black men that is just different? And I'm not just saying this because I'm with a black guy. But since I have been exposed to black culture more and more, I just genuinely believe that they actually like women. It's like they have a different appreciation. <laughs> you know what's crazy? You know, it's, okay, look, bro. I just saw something about Dr. Umar, Omar talking about how white women will, will date a black guy when he's not um, up here yet. And black women will only date a finished product. Like, he, they'll only date a, a, a nigga once he passes the finish line. And the white woman will see the potential in a black man before he's even there and build him up to there. And I have actually been told about a story like this. I was telling Kendrick, like, at one of my old jobs, a dude had come in with his white wife. And he talked about how, bro, he, he talked about how he was a janitor to make things work for himself. And he found his wife and she saw the potential in him. She made more money than him. And he was like, look, man. Let me start my business. Help me start start my business. She supported him through it. And that, that nigga was rich, bro. That nigga walked in looking like a billionaire, bro. He probably wasn't a billionaire, but he walked in. He was rich, bro. And it's, it's like, bro, that shit is kind of nuts, bro. Because, like, 
how how do white women feel this way about about us black men like this like they they they're, they're like head over heels for niggas like and some of them do it for a racist way but some of them don't but it's like our own women be hating us bro like it's crazy now bro i love i love black women bro they're at the, they're, they i love black women i put no other type of race woman above black women but bro it's it's the shit you be seeing sometimes man for femininity I don't know, just thoughts. But what about this black boyfriend effect? But everybody is sorry, y'all. I literally just yapped about for like two white minutes women right there. Who date black men? There's actually a term for it. So I learned a new term today, and I'm gonna share it with you. I was scrolling on TikTok, and I stumbled upon this white man's page, and he was holding his little biracial baby. And he said, whenever he does videos with his daughter in the video, he always gets a lot of like racially charged comments, and he used the term mud shark. And I was just sitting there like, I don't know what that means. And I was ready, as a millennial mud that I am, I was ready to Google it. But he explained <laughs> what a mud shark was. And is that a racial that term? A mud shark is a white woman who purposefully seeks out relationships with black men so she can have biracial children so she can piss off her parents or piss off her family. Oh, shit. Right. I'm pretty sure we all heard of this, but we didn't know, we didn't know what it was called. Term. Because the term was coined by the white community. And if you're not a part of the white community, then you don't know the term. Oh, so wow. you know, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Mud shark is Mud what these shark. women are called, and I kind of feel like it's appropriate. So a little this bit. terminology, uh, mud shark, is what they call it. Is what they call certain white women. Uh, it is derogatory. See, that's what I'm saying. It's not all of them, but like that's what I was just saying earlier. It's not all of them, but there are a lot of black uh, white women who date black men for the wrong reasons date black men only and the reason is because a lot of these white women are behaving or pretending to be a stereotypical urban black lady if you look at bad baby who yep. has a problem with whoa well, vicky she blew up pretty much acting like black a fishing. hood chick in the black community when she probably didn't even grow up like that and whoa well, vicky is doing the same exactly so whoa well, vicky is going viral or has went viral she has like 9 million followers on tiktok like 3.7 million followers on instagram she has a market now behaving like show? you know hey the worst of the worst in the black community she even talks like it but now she's had this real big religious affirmation uh-huh that's what i'm saying bro she she went and got baptized and now she don't talk like that no more telling everybody about god church music she's saying things like stay away from sexual sins other sins that people commit don't affect their bodies the same way <laughs> sexual sins do <laughs> People who sin sexually <laughs> sin against their own bodies. This Things nuts. like this. Church music. I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back. She also says, sex is a powerful covenant that was designed for marriage. Give her a round of applause. Yeah, well, Vicky knows the basic but shit about religion. A few days ago, when she said something particular, she says this. I'm a white Christian single woman who's looking for a successful black athlete. Football or basketball is fine with me. Let's have children and be loyal and get... <laughs> That's fucking... No way she actually did... She tweeted this shit out for real? Oh! Mary, can you take hers? Who the clap sounds? <laughs> this is where it all went bad. Woo, whoa, Vicky turns heads after sharing a message about what she's looking for in a successful black athlete. The Shade Room oh. posted this and people went bananas. It was going viral everywhere. I'm because talking why about would you say room. that? There's a difference between. There's a difference between just saying like, hey, I prefer dating black guys or I, I, I prefer dating a, a specific type of man. And and being like, you need to, I, I'm a good Christian white woman who wants to date a black athlete, basketball, football, soccer, or whatever the hell it may be. Let's have some kids. Nigga, what the f- Room posted it. Um, say cheese ban posted porn, it. Ban porn, ban alcohol, Everybody ban cigarettes, it. ban weed. Then when she did, brother started responding allegedly. And her DMs were popping. Oh, brother Louise. was getting in there all day and night and it got so bad that she said this, that post hey, worked that po all the athletes in my dms right all now all the athletes in my dms right now she also responds thank you shade room y'all helped me a lot 
I think I found him. Aww. Now, this got people <laughs> talking a lot in the comments. Um, you know, you had some white guys that were upset, but this dude was saying, these jig is mad as F that you only date black. Todd is cool said, most mud sharkers don't advertise they want a black eye. You go, girl. <laughs> That's <Got> nuts. <laughs> Gunker Gizmo says, Graper, filthy mud, you know what, shark, right? Only two demographics are angry at this, which is simply Jay. Seemingly Joshua says, race traitor. The other brother goes, this is definitely a trap. Dennis Dart goes, looking for a successful black athlete, football or basketball is fine with me. Fierro goes, haha, this is hilarious. You should include who won't beat you, cheat on you, or leave you and the kids. Also, one who won't go broke. Oh my God, all the racist niggas came out. <laughs> in a few years. Damn, bro, he's mad at black dudes. Damn, so that I nigga hate black men. I thought about it. And I'm like, hmm. So, whoa, Vicky, who is acting and behaving like the worst of the ladies in the black community the way that she pretends because she doesn't know black women so she's just trying to act like what she feels that it is you believe that you deserve the best of black men huh? and again this is so hilarious this is a lady who is allegedly a christian she's thirst trapping all through her instagram all Nuts. through her tiktok and she believes that hey because she's a white woman trying to be black, that she deserves all the athletes, football or basketball, and that she should get the top percentage of black men to be faithful to her. The same question that we would ask her is what we would ask anybody else. What would she bring to the table? And you know what she would bring to the table? <clears throat> Absolutely nothing. Whenever somebody says the entire table, they can't bring anything to the table because you already got the question wrong. So we know your intellect isn't something that you're bringing to the table. What do you bring to the table? You can't bring the table to the table. We already know your intellect isn't there. So that means you did like, bro, what are we talking about? You see, a lot of the reasons why some of these ladies go out here and do this um, is because they get hyped up. You know, we have a lot of brothers out there. I'm not saying all who will basically, you know, hey, as long as they got the white keep of hype, it's all good with them. They don't mind, you know, telling them like, yo, I I I'll be with you. You fine. You so sexy just because the lady is white. But it's clear that she's not offering any real value to any black man. He and I think as much as brothers would I mean, call shit, but a it's black true. single mom that they not feeling her, she should never feel like she should get a chance. She would never go to the white community demanding that because she already knows she can't come through there like that. Only do women from other cultures come into the black space acting like I don't know what, demanding the best from black men. That stuff has to stop. And it is because we have a number of brothers that blow these chicks heads up and y'all out there making them believe that they somebody special and they ain't even got to have no cheeks. She don't even have no cheeks. She ain't even think she ain't got no top nope. or no bottom or nothing. But as long as she's the white key behind, she got this attitude. Well, guys, what do you think it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back? I can't lie. That shit is ridiculous, bro. I can't believe that shit even worked for her, bro. These niggas need to have more high, higher, need to have higher self-esteem, bro. That shit is ridiculous. Know your worth.